WFMY News 2's Amber Lake was on the ANT campus today talking to students and alumni about the deadly shooting earlier this week. Amber, what are they saying about the Chancellor's powerful message? Well, guys, the Chancellor sent out this letter to students, staff, and alumni. And one alum told me, sadly, this isn't the first time she's received a letter like this, and she doesn't think that it'll be the last. Students on NCANT's campus. It is surreal. Like, I never would have thought that would happen to anybody. Still stunned by the recent shooting. It was just really shocking to me. I think that's like lame. Like, people still shooting in 2022. It's supposed to be fun. I don't get what could make someone so mad that they got to like start shooting. The shooting taking the lives of 19 year old Kenesha Turner, an ANT student, and 15 year old Ronald Lee Snipes, a Dudley High School student. I think everybody is just in a moment where, you know, we're not really sure if we want to go out and party or not because, you know, we don't want that to, obviously we don't want that to happen to us. It's just really unfortunate people come here and they kind of want to terrorize the students and not allow us to just enjoy, um, you know, our HBCU and events that happen here. Chancellor Martin sent this email out after the shooting extending condolences and urging the community to change. I think it was well written. Um, Again, unfortunately, that's not the first letter or email I've ever gotten in my email um, pertaining to a student being lost, um, but I think that the school always handles it and they do a good job. The chief of campus police, Jermaine Cherry, spoke to students Wednesday night about the incident, reminding them how important it is to keep your eyes open in large crowds. One thing that we are doing this week, and particularly in light of some of the larger gatherings earlier in the week, is doing our best to learn about these events before they happen. ANT officials said that security measures will be in place at all GHO events, just like the block party that is wrapping up behind me right now. Now, this coming weekend at the football game, there's going to be a clear bag policy as well as wands. Now, these officials encourage people that if you are attending off-campus events, leave if you feel uncomfortable.